First navigate to openai.com, click on Try ChatGPT, and then on Sign Up. We're not actually using ChatGPT, just the OpenAI API, but we'll get to that later. Next, register with your email address or an authentication provider of your choice. If ChatGPT is too busy, as in this example, don't worry. Navigate back to openai.com. This time, click on Sign In. On the next screen, fill in your personal details and continue. Enter your phone number and verify it with an SMS code. You should use your real data here as you will be paying for the OpenAI services. On the next screen, select API. The first thing you should do is set a soft and hard quota limit to prevent you from spending more money than you intend. Go to your settings and select limits. The page will tell you that you must have a paid subscription to use limits, so you should change that. Go to billing and add a payment method. There is no monthly fee associated with this. Instead, you only pay for your actual interactions with ChatGPT's services. For our use case, you do not need the ChatGPT Plus subscription in case you're asked. Next, go back to limits. Set a monthly budget, which is your hard limit that you can never exceed with API calls. You should also set a lower notification threshold, which basically means that OpenAI will send you an email once you reach this limit. It's fine to set low thresholds. In our experience, a value of around $10 will get you pretty far, and you can always increase the value later. Then select API key in the menu. Create a new secret key and give it a name of your choice. You can have several keys at once. Copy this key, you will need it for our tool. There is also a handy usage section on the website where you can keep track of exactly which services you have used and how much they have cost you, so take a look at the statistics from time to time if you are interested.